test. Okay, means entropy remain constant. Determine exit velocity means C3. Okay, you have to find out C3 first one. Next ratio of cross section area of exit to the throat means area ratio exit means 3 C3 divided by A2. You have to find out these two. Okay, so now before, to find out these two, you have to find out first P2. So you know the formula of P2. P2 by P1 is equal to 2 by n plus 1 power n by n minus 1. So by using this formula and the given expansion, adiabatic expansion, you need to, you will get the 6.38. Okay, so we shall see how to solve these problems in Molière chart. So Molière chart now, see, so this is your a Molière chart. Okay, so HS, this is enthalpy and you will get the entropy okay so this our uh, x-axis is entropy now we have to place 11 bar so where is the 11 bar and is clearly mentioned that dry saturated means the 11 bar is on x you know on saturation line see you can observe this is a 10 okay or around here you'll get 11 bar okay so from the 11 bar you have to draw vertically straight line up to where up to up to 2 bar okay see you have to draw straight line up to 2 bar Okay, so up to 2 bar is given. Okay, so up to 2 bar is given. So you have to draw a straight line up to 2 bar. Where is 2 bar? So this is a 2 bar. Okay, so I'll draw up to line up to 2 bar. Clear? So or somewhere around here you'll get. Okay, so next intermediate pressure. How much you got intermediate pressure? Intermediate pressure is 6.38. So now I have to place the 6.38. So you can observe here you have a 5 and here you have a 6. 6.38 means you'll get here. So you can draw then you can place here okay now so now you have to draw horizontal line and then you have to find out the enthalpy okay clear so next here it is a uh, since it is a saturated within the saturated so you have to find out two things one is a dryness fraction other one is a you have to find out specific volume see dryness fraction so this is a point number two so how much you'll get dryness fraction you, you need to draw you need to draw same straight you know, uh, along the line along the line you will get here Okay, you'll get somewhere around 0 0.996. Okay, 0 0.96 or 0.9955. Okay, so that is x2. Next, you have to find out another one. Okay, two bar. See from here, you have to draw straight line. Again, somewhere you will get here. Okay, so this is 0 0.88. Okay, this is the uh, drainage fraction. Next, you have to find out specific volume. You can observe specific volume. See, 80 meter cube per kg. 80 meter cube per kg so these are the specific volume you can observe the specific volume curve okay see this is a specific volume curve so dotted lines are called a specific volume curve you can observe so this point 6.38 okay you will get here 6.38 so this dotted line in between uh, point 0.2 and point 0.5 so somewhere around you will get point uh, 0.35 okay and in here yeah so this is between point 0.5 and as well as 1 okay so somewhere you'll get 0.85 or 86 somewhere so this is how to use the psychometric you know, Molière chart okay so we'll see we'll write same thing here okay we'll write same thing here you can observe see this is a p1 okay so this p1 will get like this so this is your p1 is equal to what 11 bar okay hs next from the same line you have to draw vertical line straight line so this is your point number one, point number three. And this is your, this is your two bar. Okay, and intermediate you will get point number two. This is intermediate pressure will get six point three eight. Okay, so here you should know this value and you should know this value. So this is around x two is point nine six, and this is around x three is point nine. Okay, so next here you have to find out this is H2 and this is your H1 and this is your H3. Okay, from the chart you will get H1 is equal to 2780 kilojoule per kg. H2 you will get 2680 kilojoule per kg. Next H3 you will get 2480 kilojoule per kg. Next X2 you will get 0.96 next vg2 you will get 0.3 meter cube per kg next x3 you will get 0.9 next 
next vg3 you will get 0.88 okay meter cube per kg using this we have to find out one by one so we'll see first we have to find out the exit velocity so exit velocity okay to find exit velocity you know the formula c3 is equal to square root of 2000 into h1 h1 minus h3 okay so substitute you'll get 2000 into 2000 into h1 is 2780 minus 2780 minus 2480 okay 2780 minus 2480 so you'll get c3 774.59 meter per second so next you have to find out throat you have to find out throat velocity so throat velocity is c2 square root of 2000 into h1 minus h2 okay so 2000 h1 is what 2780 minus 2680 so you'll get c2 you'll get c2 you'll get around uh, 4 4 around 4 4 7 point 2 1 meter per second okay so now you have to find out the area okay so area means ratio of area cross section okay second one ratio of a2 divided by a3 okay sorry uh, a3 divided by a2 it means exit to a throat okay so now we have to find out a2 a3 and a2 so you know the formula mass is equal to okay mass 2 is equal to a2 c2 specific volume 2 so instead of this you will write a2 c2 divided by x2 into vg2 see this x2 into vg2 only you are going to use when you are if problem solving within the saturation line okay so you can substitute so you will get a3 is equal to m x2 sorry a2 is equal to m x2 vg2 divided by c2 okay so substitute upon we will get 0 0.96 into 0.297 here i don't know mass so i'll consider mass same then you'll get c2 447.21 so then a2 will get 0, 0, 0, 6, 3, 4 in terms of m okay next m3 is equal to a3 c3 by v3 so a3 c3 x3 vg3 i'll get uh, then uh, you have to find out a3 so a3 is equal to 0 0.9 into 0.88 into mass divided by 774.59 so a3 you'll get 0 0.001028 mass okay so finally therefore a3 divided by a2 0 0 1 0 2 8 divided by 0 0.00 triple zero six three four so finally you will get some 1.62 okay so this is the what you have to find out okay if the temperature is above 100 degree superheated the exit pressure is 2 bar assuming uh, if they given 100 bar and 250 so 2 bar means it is a, understood that it is a conversion rate diversion nozzle assuming assuming isentropic expansion okay next negligible inlet velocity so inlet velocity is neglected you have to find out throat area exit velocity exit area of the nozzle that's it and then they given 1.3 is a adiabatic expansion so similar way you have to find out p2 same thing p1 is given t1 is given p3 is given n is given mass but you have to find out p2 so same formula this last problem what you did same so same you have to find out p2 after that see you have to flood the molier chart graph okay with with the looking of the molier chart that's it see here you have to choose 250 degree celsius and then 10 bar see these two line intersect at one point so this is a point number one next from that you have to draw vertically straight line up to two bar okay 
So next you have to place intermediate pressure 5.45. See, 1 and 2 is above saturated. Okay, so you need not to find out any x2. Okay, you need not to find out x2. Only you have to find out x3 and vg3. Okay, v2. Okay, so this is how you can plot the Molier chart graph. Okay, very simple. Clear. So now we shall see. Uh, first, you have to find out the throat uh, area, right? So to find out throat area, so throat area, throat area. Mass is equal to mass is given in the problem A2 C2 divided by V2. But you have to find out C2. C2 is what square root of 2000 into H1 minus H2. Okay, so H1 is 2930, H1 is 2000 into 2930 minus 2770. So we will get C2 is around 565.68 meter per second. Okay, so next you substitute here means A2 is equal to mass into V2 divided by C2. So A2 is equal to mass is 0.2 kg, V2 is 0 0.44 0 0.4 divided by C2. I get 565.68. So finally, we'll get A2 1.414 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square. So means area of the throat you have find out. Next you have to find out exit area. Okay, you have to find out exit area. So to find out exit area, you know the exit area. You know the formula. So mass is equal to A3 C3 divided by Vg3 into X3 because it is a within a saturated point. That's why we are considering X3 and Vg3. So A3 is equal to mass into X3 Vg3 divided by C3. So you have to find out C3. Very simple formula 2000 into H1 minus H3 but square root 2000 into what is the H1 value? H1 value is 2930 minus 2600 H3 value. So finally you will get C3 is equal to 812.40 meter per second. So now you substitute in A3 is equal to so 0 0.2 into 0.95 into 0 0.88 divided by 812.40. So finally you will get A3 2.06 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square. Okay, this completes the second problem. Hi, so third problem, problems and third problems in nozzle, adiabatic steam nozzle is to be designed for discharge of 10 kg. We see masses 10 kg is given, but 10 bar and 400 degree. 400 degree means you understood that it is a super heated. So to a back pressure of 1 bar means final pressure is 1 bar. So nozzle efficiency is given, yeah. See if they given nozzle efficiency, you have to multiply find to a final, you have to find out this velocity. But to while finding out the velocity, you have to multiply by nozzle efficiency. But this nozzle efficiency in the way from where they are taken, that is very important thing. And the frictional losses is assumed to take place in a discharging portion. Means it is given from the discharging. Okay, it is given from the discharging in terms of its it has to be taking place from the throat. Okay, discharging portion of the nozzle. Okay, now then calculate the velocity. Uh, of the steam at the throat and exit nozzle and then calculate the throat area and exit area okay see same sim similar problem but only thing mass is given and as well as efficiency is given so efficiency is given means you have to be careful okay so efficiency you have to consider only after the only for di you know di uh, discharging portion means 2 2 and 3 that's it you need not to multiply by from the first if they given from if they are not given any word like you have to consider from discharging portion so it means that you have to consider from point one okay so be, please be careful so yeah see you will get the 400 degrees celsius temperature curve 
and you'll get the pressure so it will meet at one point so this is a point one from where you have to draw vertical straight line up to where one bar okay next intermediate you will get 5.45 so all are all the points are in super saturated situation so you need not to consider x value means drainage fraction value so we'll see first we have to find out velocity at the throat at throat so to find out at throat so c2 is equal to 2000 into h1 minus h2 so square root 2000 into you have to you have to neglect the initial velocity minus three three you see i am not multiplying by nozzle efficiency because it is up to a throat after the throat you have to consider so c2 you'll get c2 you'll get six seven eight point two three meter per second okay so similarly we'll find out the throat area so throat area so throat area will get m is equal to a2 c2 v2 so a2 is equal to m v2 by c2 okay so mass is equal to 10 kg so then v2 value will get around somewhere around uh, 0.5 and c2 value will get 7.37 sorry 6 sorry 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 6 7 8.23 so finally you will get a2 is equal to 7.37 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into square or next you have to find out exit area exit velocity exit velocity here you have to consider nozzle efficiency because it is mentioned in the problem okay so 2000 into h1 minus h3 into nozzle efficiency so square root of 2000 h1 is you will get 3260 minus h3 you will get 2690 into nozzle efficiency is 0.9 okay so next I will get C3 value is 1024.11 meter per second. Okay, so next you have to find out A3 means exit area. Okay, A3. So you will get A3 is what? Mass into V3 divided by C3. So mass is fixed 10 kg, then V3 is 1.9, then C3 you will get. 1024.1 so it a3 is equal to 0 0.0185 meter square okay so this completes the nozzle problem okay so very simple okay so please don't miss a if 80 students don't miss this chapter okay so if you miss this chapter you're going to lose 20 marks very easily because very easy chapter this is okay module 5 part b Thank you.